Hi everyone, welcome back to the Canadian Science Policy Conference. My name is Aaron and I'm here with Dr. Imogen Ko, founding Dean of Science at Ryerson University and a professor there. Dr. Ko, thank you for being with us. My pleasure, delighted to be here. So you are a in, uh, professor, uh, research at Ryerson University. Mm -hmm. What's the kind of research that you do in your lab? So I'm a cell biologist and I study uh, membrane transport proteins that transport drugs from outside to inside of cells. So lots of biochemistry, cell biology, cool. pharmacology, with a clinical application. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Now, the thing <laughs> is, is you're not here to talk at CSBC mm -hmm. about cell biology. Mm -hmm. You're here to talk about uh, equality, diversity, and inclusion. Mm -hmm. um, and you're a, a, a strong champion of that policy. Mm -hmm. So what sort of drove you to be that champion? Mm. So I get asked that question quite a lot, and I almost always address it when I'm giving talks because why would a cell biologist be talking about equity, diversity and inclusion? Um, and I think it's because I was raised with a very strong sense of social justice and values around accessibility and opportunity. Both my parents came from very humble backgrounds. Uh, they were first generation to go to university and they wouldn't have been able to go to university had there not been changes in policy around education in the UK post Second World War. So we always had a very strong sense of, uh, raised with a strong sense of sort of fairness, the value of education, social mobility, um, and, and a sense of who didn't have those opportunities and who didn't have access. So I was able to, I've been able to sort of marry my passion and love of science with my sense of uh, not everybody gets to pursue their passion and love of science mm -hmm. and really become a sort of an expert amateur in that area mm -hmm. um, but have some of the credibility of being a practicing scientist and also a lived experience of, as being a, a woman in science mm -hmm. and seeing some of the, the challenges that are very real. <coughs> just, so I need to take a second because it's <laughs> very, hear, hearing you talk about it is, is, is just so powerful because you know I've, I've been in that situation where I, um, needing that that voice mm -hmm. someone to listen to someone who can say that it, that I I belong so right. it's, it's a little give me a second um, <clears throat> so the panel that you're on is translating uh, equity diversity inclusion from policy to practice mm -hmm. yes and it would seem to me that it's a very sort of straightforward mm -hmm. thing to do um, is that, is that really the case? Is it easy to bring a policy like Athena Swan to Canada, mm -hmm. or are there barriers that we have to <coughs> get past? I think it's, actually, it's, it's very, very hard um, to do because uh, any time you're trying to, to change uh, culture or change attitudes or, chain or challenge uh, systems mm -hmm. that uh, involve power and privilege, um, you get a lot of resistance and a lot of pushback. So we're very good in Canada about talking about things like equity and diversity. Uh, we do a lot of talking about it. We do a lot of studies. We do more studies. Um, but we're very slow to actually move into uh, practice. And uh, that takes, like, like any practice, like getting good at anything, whether it be a sport or music, um, it takes practice and you need to be trained and you need to learn how to do it and there need to be experts who can help with that sort of uh, expert practitioners. Um, so it, it is going to take some time and going from policy to implementation is hard and, and we have to recognize that and accept it and plan for it. Um, and I think we're not having that conversation nearly enough here. We're talking about how wonderful it is and we're assuming that everybody's going to be on side. Um, but not everybody is because people uh, with power and privilege will inevitably feel threatened. And when you think about other sort of issues around social change, whether it be women's suffrage or whether it be the civil rights movement, uh, none of those things happened without, um, you know, a lot of struggle, a lot of sort of battling, a lot of challenge, a lot of discomfort. And we, and we have to get comfortable with being very uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and that's not very Canadian. Mm -hmm. We don't want people to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. We're very polite. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um, is there? We're at the Canadian Science Policy Conference, and I just want to know: Do you have? What do you see as the value of a conference like this? I think this conference is incredibly important, and I think the value of bringing practicing scientists and those people involved in the enterprise of science, uh, the facilitators, the support staff, 
um, and the policy makers, both locally and federally, bringing all of those people together so that there can be a facilitated dialogue, so that there can be um, sessions that have uh, specific purposes, so that there can actually be a conversation, um, a framework uh, around a conversation, um, is incredibly important. And, and I think, you know, this is the only conference of its kind in Canada, um, and we really need to be doing more of this. Um, we need to be having more of these conversations um, because when you're bringing policy to implementation, like an Athena Swan, mm -hmm. it's going to take all of those people involved in that enterprise to get together and talk about how we're going to do it. So it's a it's a very important conference, and I'm you know I've, I've been associated with CSPC for a long time because it was housed at Ryerson for a while, mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you know I, I'm very I feel very attached to this conference. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. <coughs> and finally, where can people learn more about the work that you do? So um, anybody can get in touch with me um, by email. And we have a website at Ryerson, which is www.ryerson.ca slash EDI STEM. And that links all of our resources, papers, data, uh, links to other websites. Um, we try to keep that updated regularly. And uh, there's a ton and tons and tons of information there. So check it out. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank you.